It all starts with my grandfather and my mother. Actually, my um, grandfather was a banjo player in East Tennessee. Um, and my mom, she plays guitar and sings, and she writes her own songs, mostly country, uh, in the style, I would say, of like Hank Williams Sr. Uh, everything she writes is probably from the, sounds like it could have been written in the 40s or the 50s. But um, I, I grew up listening to music in the house all the time and um, hearing my grandfather and my mother play together around the house or at the nursing home when we went to visit him. And um, so one day, uh, I mean, my mother, when I was growing up, um, she was always singing around the house and singing in the kitchen while I was getting ready for school. And I always heard, hey, good looking, what you got cooking? You know, which is a great song to be singing when you're cooking in the kitchen. And, uh, you know, I didn't think much of it at the time, being a, a youngster, but it made an impact on me later on. We uh, would go visit my grandfather in the nursing home, and they would sit around and play guitar and banjo, and mostly bluegrass and old time country. And when I was about 11 or 12, I didn't much care for that kind of thing. You know, I wanted to hear ACDC and Van Halen and Ozzy Osbourne, to be honest. And um, one day this orderly walked in the room and he said, hey, can I see your guitar? Mom said, sure. Hand him the guitar and he played a few chords on it and it was just like the pyros had gone off and, you know, the lights were down and the, it's just unbelievable. I was like, you can do that on a guitar that's what I want to do. So it took about a year and uh, my mother finally, after a few piano lessons, uh, I convinced her that I wanted to play guitar. And uh, so we got a guitar and I started taking some lessons from the orderly for about a year and a half or two years. And, <laughs> and one day I came to a lesson and he said that he couldn't teach me anymore because I was starting to learn things on my own that he couldn't even figure out. So I first was in basically hard rock bands in junior high and high school, all the way to my mid-twenties, really. And yeah, oh yeah, long hair, I still have the tattoos. The band I was in that just came out on Sony Red from 20 years ago, uh, a former girlfriend's lips and a, a Telecaster burning in flames. It's a mar I'm marked forever from that time period. I'll never forget it, you know. It may not mean as much now, but sometimes it means even more. I don't know, but it just adds a little mystery. Yeah, you know, I played trumpet all through high school and um, took classical guitar lessons and studied jazz. And I was in a band with this a guy named Chris Scott. It was just he and I playing acoustic guitars, and he had a lap steel that had been in his family. He said, of all the people I know, Eric, you could probably make something out of this thing. So I bought some strings and started teaching myself, which eventually led to the pedal steel guitar and, um, and dobro and various things like that. And one night we were playing that gig, and Andy Ratliff showed up, and he said, hey, you know, you're, you're pretty good on guitar. Um, have you ever thought about playing bluegrass? I said, well, you know, my mom used to play a lot of bluegrass when I was growing up. I've never really thought about it. He said, well, I play mandolin and fiddle and banjo. And I was like, you do? Bam, we became a, a brother duet. I have a crazy past. I'm a, I'm a rock and roller. I'm a, I'm a jazzer. I'm, blues guy. I'm influenced by anything good. I just love music. I love blues, country, jazz, western swing, bluegrass. Did I say bluegrass? Country. I mean, God, it just goes on and on. I, I like everything and um, I like variety. I just love to play music and if it's good, I, I, I get influenced by it.
I'm more of an instrumentalist and music writer than, uh, say, lyrics are concerned, but uh, I do write songs from time to time, but it's been one of those things that a lot of times you feel like you're revealing yourself and it's like, I don't know, going to church without any clothes on and it's a little too scary, so I don't always open up enough to perform original lyrics anymore, but I think I'm getting braver as the years go on.